Hey Clark Sharks, this is Miss McCary. I hope this video finds you enjoying your midwinter break. I know I am. Today, I'd like to share a story with you called A Friend Like You. The story is written by Andrea Schomburg and Barbara Rockin, and the pictures are by Sean Julian. A friend like you. Once more, autumn had come. Squirrel had been very busy, dashing up and down the trees, and everywhere he had buried nuts for the cold months ahead. When he was finished, he sat down to rest. Ah, he sighed happily, all set for winter. Suddenly, a bird flew down and landed next to him. Where did you come from? asked Squirrel. A long way from here, said the bird, and now I'm tired. Well, have a nut, said Squirrel. Thank you very much, replied the bird, but actually I only eat worms. <laughs> Why not eat a nut for a change, said Squirrel. Hmm, I might give it a try, answered the bird, tasting the nut carefully. Then he flooded his feathers and hopped from foot to foot. <laughs> well, what do you know, he chirped. Who would have thought nuts are delicious? Would you like to come climbing? Asked Squirrel. I'll show you my favorite tree. Actually, I can't really climb, said the bird. But you can fly, can't you? said Squirrel. Yes, I can, replied the bird. Squirrel darted to the highest treetop and Bird flew with him high, high up. Squirrel turned somersaults while the bird sat in the top branch of the tree. He sang so sweetly that Squirrel had happy goosebumps all over his back. Come sing with me, called the bird. Actually, I can't really sing, said Squirrel. Then why not hum along, suggested the bird. Well, said Squirrel, I might give it a try. The bird sang and Squirrel hummed along, bouncing on the branch with joy. They played and climbed and jumped and hopped and flew and sprang and sang together all day long. Then they sat on the grass eating and watching the sunset. I'm so happy I met you, said the bird. I'm happy too, nodded Squirrel. When you sing, it gives me happy goosebumps all over my back. Imagine us meeting like that, out of the blue, and having so much fun together. Yes, agreed the bird. I never thought I would meet a friend like you. You know what, said Squirrel. I've buried so many nuts more than enough for two. And there's so much space in my nest. Would you like to stay with me? Yes, replied the bird. I would very much. But, hmm, I can't. Why not, cried Squirrel. It was wonderful spending the day with you, said the bird, but I'm a bird. See, I can't eat nuts all the time. I'd miss my worms. And it makes me so happy to fly. I'm sorry, but I can't stay. But wait, exclaimed Squirrel. You could still eat worms. 
and just have nets for a change. You could fly whenever you like and then come back again. There are so many fun things we could do together. The bird thought for a moment. Then he smiled and said, I might give it a try. And that's how Squirrel and the bird stayed together. And it didn't matter at all that they were very different. It was exactly right, just the way it was. Clark Sharksitz reminds me of how we can show kindness to one another and we can be friends with others, whether they are similar or different from us. And I hope that you enjoyed this story with me, a friend like you. Enjoy the rest of your midwinter break. All of us at Clark can't wait to see our students back soon. Take care. <laughs>